We are Evolve Automotive, an automotive performance tuner based in the UK. We tune mainly BMW M Power cars and that stems from the fact that we're all enthusiasts ourselves and have owned numerous M Power cars in the past. Uh, we used to tune them and it got to a stage where we weren't happy with the offerings out there and, and we thought, you know what, we can do better than this and Evolve was born. Today we're going to give you an insight on how we tune a car. Um, the car in question is going to be an E46 M3 and after the video presentation uh, we hope that you'll have a bit more understanding of what goes into making an Evolve map. Modern ECUs require us to read and write the data to and from them, so nothing is done on the fly. The first part of creating a tune is to read the original ECU data out of the car with our Evolve R cable. To do this we plug one end into the OBD2 port of the car and the other end into the USB port of the laptop. We then run the software and download the ECU data. File reading can take anywhere between two minutes and an hour depending on the ECU. For the longer reads we recommend that you use a battery stabiliser. The original file is now on the laptop. We are now going to send this to the Evolve Calibrator so he can create the tune. Carry out a baseline run to check what power the car is making. We will also monitor variables such as IAT both before and after the tuning to make sure it is the same. The first thing we need to do is import the file into our map editing software, Winnells. Today we are making a stage 1 map, so we'll be changing around 15 parameters. This can be viewed in 16-bit decimal format, actual value or graphical format. To edit the map, we adjust the figures in the actual value area. We learn how to adjust the maps based on lots of research and development on our dyno, testing variations of ignition timing, fueling and intake vanos. Without the dyno we would be development tuning blind, not knowing exactly the delta in power across the RPM range without not being a factor at this level. The dyno allows us to control the testing environment as much as possible and to run the car at speeds which would get us into trouble on the road. Now we've spent time building the tune, it's ready to install into the car using the same process. We plug the Evolve R back into the OBD port and program the ECU with a new Evolve tune. Now 
Now that the tune is installed, we can run it on the dyno again and measure the difference, what we call the delta. At this point, we want to measure the IATs again just to make sure everything is consistent. We're going to do a few runs to make sure that they are stabilised. The ECU will back off ignition timing if it sees IATs are too high.